okay, so you got it twice today. Hey there, everybody, good morning. Welcome to this installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. If you are listening on the podcast, you are cordially invited to join us on Facebook. You can do that by going to TomRigsby.com slash Facebook. That takes you to the right page on Facebook where you can join the conversation. Watch me do the show live on video. If you are here on Facebook, awesome. Thank you for being here. Be sure and leave a comment. Doesn't matter whether you're watching live or on the replay. Leave a comment down below. Let me know that you were here. And here's something else special that you can do in those comments. Tag somebody else who needs to see this video, who could participate in our conversation today. That would be awesome. They'll get a notification. Facebook will do its thing. The other thing that happens when you leave a comment, you get notified as those awesome, sometimes even better than my part, <laughs> conversations go on down in the comments. So, good morning, Keith. And Keith, I failed to say hi to you yesterday. I apologize. Thank you so much for being here today and yesterday. George, good to see you this morning. Ramona, Joe. I'm going to talk about Joe a lot today. Um, you'll find out why in just a minute. So, uh, again, as you join in, name, uh, just say hi down in the, in the comments. Tag somebody else that you would like to join us uh, here in this conversation. You may notice over my shoulder uh, that there's a new participant in this morning's show. I have the most awesome fans ever. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. You know, as I have, you've heard her here from time to time. I've mentioned her frequently. This is my backyard back here. We have a chicken that lives in the backyard. But her appearance on the show apparently was a bit too inconsistent for some. So yesterday when I got to the coffee shop <coughs> to begin the coffee shop show, one of my great fans... Brought me this guy right here. <laughs> My very own chicken to be a star of the show. Apparently I'm not good enough. So, so we were talking about it uh, while we were sitting there having coffee. And uh, decided, I decided we're going to do have a naming contest. So I'll put a separate post. Uh, you, can put your, uh, you can put your suggestions here in the comments uh, down below. But I'm going to put up a separate post, a naming contest. For the chicken, it'll probably be an event, so I'll have a big reveal day and all that. Uh, and I'll have all the prize details and everything in there. But start thinking of a name for the chicken. He or she, I, I guess it's, I don't know, I haven't really decided yet whether it's he or she. We'll call it a she. She'll be back there most days, looking over my shoulder, making sure everything goes well during the show. So, Joe, thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. Made me laugh when I saw him get out of the truck with that. Uh, Abby, good morning. Vicki, good morning to you. Um, well, I can't read that comment. Oh, chicken is already out and about. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the real chicken is already out of the backyard. She's out doing her thing wherever it is that she does her thing. Uh, and yes, the puppy dog does love the new rubber chicken. So, all right. So, um, man, great night last night at co-working night. Um, guys, been on the uh, been on the coffee shop shows, been on the radio, he's on the radio show with me this week. I'm going to record pre-record another episode with him later on this morning. Dan Green wrapped up his tenure leading the Idea Suck workshop. Dan, thank you for everything you put into that workshop uh, and for leading that. Uh, Dan and his wife are moving to Charlotte. And uh, so I'm going to take over that workshop every, right now it's every other Wednesday night. We'll see how that schedule works out. But super stuff uh, in that group last night. And, the, and some of the regular attenders and, and others were sharing um some inspirational moments over the last few months. Super, super group last night. Today, so as I've done all week, and I do frequently, basing today's show off of 
uh, a quote. And the man, the quotes just they've lined up for us this week. So we're we're on this. We're on a, a, a kick here about learning, self-development, self-improvement, and I love today's quote. This one comes from Einstein. Smart guy, right? Einstein. He said, learn from yesterday, live for today, and hope for tomorrow. Learn from yesterday, live for today, and hope for tomorrow. And I was going to take this in a direction of, of learning uh, and you know how our most valuable resource for learning is our experience, but I want to I don't want to bypass those other two admonitions there. So I'm going to try and hit all three of these and not make this an hour long video. Yes, we need to learn from our previous experiences. Experience is our best teacher. It is the thing that helps us build confidence, and confidence reduces fear and risk, or our perception of risk. So experience is important. And it also is a fairly good predictor of future results, but it's not 100%. Right? So that's why we have to learn from it. We can't use it as a factual outcome for the future, but we can definitely learn that if we do these things, that these results are likely to follow. Right? So that's why it is important uh, Churchill said I had a derivative of this, right? That those that don't study history are destined to repeat it, right? We should learn from the past, and not just our own, but other people's also, right? When And that's one of the differences between an average performer and a super performer. If you can learn not just from your own experiences, but from those of others, then you graduate into the super performer realm. That's why reading is so important. I've said many times that a, a book that we can read in a week or maybe two weeks is the condensed knowledge and learning and experience that it took somebody else years to accumulate and document. And we can get all of that in just a week or so. Man, what a great trade, right? So, we have to be able to learn from yesterday, all right? In learning from yesterday, though, we don't need to live in yesterday. And that's the mistake that a lot of people make. They live in the past, either reveling in their successes and in their victories, or continuing to beat themselves up for the things that didn't turn out the way they wanted or expected. And in doing so, in living in the past, we completely miss the present. Right? <clears throat> Live for today. I, and I struggled with this for a long time. How can, because I felt like contentment was important. It's important to be content where I am, but it's also important to be discontented for what comes next. How can I enjoy today? I've got so much more work to do. I've got so much to make up for. Right? But you have to be able to separate those. Look at the past as a learning opportunity. What can I learn from those experiences? Can I apply them today? Live for today. Right? The quote that I had over the weekend was, don't put off till tomorrow something unless you're willing to die having never done it. You have to live for today because you're not promised tomorrow. None of us are. Right? So live for today. Be content with today. Enjoy the time you spend with other people today. Enjoy the time that you spend doing what you do today. Do you have to do stuff that sucks every once in a while? Sure, we all have to do that. Are we going to have bad days every once in a while? Sure, we're all going to have bad days every once in a while. But the goal, right, is to enjoy the day. And if we can do that, if we can learn from the past and we can learn uh, a live for today, then we can have hope for tomorrow. We can be discontent with that outcome, right? I'm very happy with today, and I have hope that tomorrow will be even better, right? I'm not living in the past. I'm not continuing to beat myself up for yesterday's um, bad outcomes, and I'm not going to, And because, but because I have that experience, I also can look to the future and not be so anxious about the future that I can't enjoy today. 
Because we do that to ourselves also. As much as we beat ourselves up for yesterday, we also look forward into tomorrow and start living tomorrow's problems today. Right? That's called being anxious for something. Anxiety. Actually, anxiety is worrying about worry. <laughs> right? So, we, we begin to worry about the things we need to worry about tomorrow, today. That creates anxiety and we can't enjoy the day today. Yeah, we need to be able to plan and know what's coming up. But just by planning, you know my quote from last week, plans are worthless but planning is priceless. That's because planning gives us a clue to what's coming up. And if we can see that these things are coming up and we can look back into the past and say, okay, when that happened before, this was the result. Now we can either adjust the actions that we're going to take or anticipate and look forward to the great result that's right out there on the horizon. Okay, I hope that's been helpful for you today. Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. All right. Oh, well, sorry. My, so Vic, now I read the comments and Vicky tells me the mic's a little hot this morning. I apologize for that. <clears throat> we should start with self-awareness. Absolutely, says Joe. Uh, oh, man. Oh, there we go. We should also limit looking into the past. Aiming for the future is directly proportional to our activities today. Yep, absolutely. Uh, George says, or relearning from past experiences. Yep. Some forget the difference between reminiscing and regret from your past. Well, oh, that's a great one, Joe. Reminiscing, um, reminiscing and what do you call it? Reminiscing and regret. So here's, uh, here's an interesting thing. So a woman named Bronnie Ware, who's a palliative care nurse, worked with people in their, in their last days. She wrote a great essay probably 15 years ago now called The, the Five Biggest Regrets of dying people. And she took that from all these conversations that she had with people in the last days of their life. And one of the things that she found was that all five of those regrets were about things they did not do, not about things that they did do. Now, I've read that several times and it, it's, it's a little challenging to me because I can think, yeah, well, I don't know, I might regret some of the things that I did. But I think, that I think the thing to take away is that our greatest regrets will come from the chances we didn't take. The limits that we applied to ourselves um, toward achieving something that we thought was important. Yeah, and, and reminiscing about old uh, about past events about the history that's good too that's celebration and we need celebration if we're going to achieve peak performance uh, we need to celebrate those victories and do it over and over again to remind ourselves of those victories we just can't linger there you can't you can't uh, what do you say Babe Ruth said you can't win today's ball game with yesterday's home run something like that present is a gift literally says Vicky absolutely uh, mind fog. I like that too. Worrying about tomorrow may mean you suffer twice. Oh, that's an awesome one, George. Yeah, I'll suffer through it today and I suffer through it tomorrow when I actually live it out. Wow, that's awesome. Thanks for that input. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up today. I will have a couple of videos coming out today, I think. Uh, as I rec I've gotten recording two, pre recording two episodes for the radio show today have no idea when they're going to air yet, um, but they're going to, I'll, I'll, I'll very likely do them on Facebook Live, uh, just on the talk radio uh, page, though, not, I won't put it out everywhere like I normally do, I'll save those for the day that they actually air, all right, so, uh, thank you for being here, remember, tomorrow, today's Thursday, what does that mean? Free Coaching Friday is tomorrow. If you have a question, comment, or a topic you would like for me to address, send me a message right here on the Unashamed, unashamed Nonconformist page on Facebook or send me an email, tom at tomrigsby.com and start thinking of a name for the chicken. I have a naming contest and uh, come up with a good name for, I don't know, there'll be some good stuff in there. All right, we're going to wrap that up right here. You guys have a fantastic Thursday. Remember, be thankful. Today is Thursday. Be thankful today. Find something to be thankful for. I'll be back again tomorrow 
with another brand new installment. Seven minutes in the morning, you guys take care.